Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about The Grudge and this movie came out in 2004 and it's a film that I've always known existed and I've seen it uh, being parodied in Scary Movie 4 and I was a little bit familiar of uh, what I was uh, getting into. I thought this movie overall was fine. I didn't hate it, I enjoyed it a bit more than I thought I would. The things that I liked about it is uh, that... It's not a film that is necessarily terribly shot in every scene. Like, the way things are presented visually, I think, is well handled. And there's some really uh, creepy imagery, especially for a PG-13 uh, film. Which is not something that I talk about, really. That being the rating uh, for certain movies. Like, for instance, uh, this movie is PG-13, and I was surprised at uh, what they were able to get away with with a PG-13 rating. <laughs> And whenever they show something that's kind of like pushing the limits or like you see something that's really surprising that actually is able to like scare me or like it'd be terrifying to look at. That's always uh, something that I feel is worth praising when it's intentional, not unintentionally creepy. <laughs> if you understand what I mean. I like the music in this movie. I thought it was well handled for the most part. I thought it wasn't... Uh, a score that was like uh, trying to be so in your face and it'd be like really loud uh, whenever it wanted and it didn't feel like uh, tropey or traditional it was well handled and there was a really uh, well executed jump scare in the first 10 minutes of the movie and that's where my issues kind of start with this movie is that I do feel as though this movie kind of over relies on jump scares and they get kind of annoying. And uh, in terms of uh, what I found to be scary, it was kind of like 50-50. Like half of the movie uh, was uh, scary to me when it was trying to be scary. The other half didn't really land for me. And the creepy like uh, that the antagonist uh, makes uh, like the sound that I'm sure you're all familiar with. I thought that was... Uh, very creepy and well executed and one of the scariest things uh, that uh, could be made into a film like it's just so simple and yet I love it but my biggest issue with this movie would probably be uh, the structure of the film I uh, found it to be kind of poorly structured at points and I like the second half of this movie better than the first half the first half I found to be kind of all over the place as it's trying to not only establish different characters but also follow different characters from different points of view and once we get into the second half it, it kind of just stops doing that and we focus on Karen and when the movie is focused on Karen that's when the movie works for me it feels like uh, things are progressing uh, things are just where they need to be and I can follow it whereas when it's not focused on her it just kind of feels like a mess and it just doesn't know what it wants to be. When I say this movie is scary, I would say that it's scary at points, which is not something I can say for every horror movie out there. Would I say it's good? Not really. Like, it's fine. It's inoffensive. I don't know if I would categorize this movie as a film that I regret watching because there were parts that I liked. It's just that its biggest problem is that uh, the story is all over the place. <laughs> and I just felt as though if it was more focused and had a better understanding of what to focus on, then it would have been much better for me. And this is also uh, one of those uh, movies where it has uh, the ingredients uh, that would make a good movie. But for me, it's just leaving me feel like there's something missing also. Like... It's well made, but there wasn't really much of a hook for me. Maybe it's because the characters weren't all that interesting to me, or I just needed something else. I'm not quite sure what that was, but I can say this much for sure, is that there's just something missing here, and I can't quite point my finger at it. And that's about all I have to say about The Grudge. It was competent, I can say that and feel pretty solid on that like it's competently made it's just that there wasn't really much of a hook for me the movie was able to scare me which is something that not every horror movie is able to do in fact very few horror movies are very are able to scare me especially to the extent that this movie was able to do so just because of how things were presented but 
all in all, this is a film that is not a film that I would rewatch. Not because it scared me that much, but rather it's just... I don't feel as though I'm going to get anything out of the experience if I were to watch it a second time. It's just a one watch and then you're done. And there's really no reason to ever come back to it. And would I recommend this movie? It's worth one watch, but I just don't think it's anything special by the end of the day. Despite being everything I've said already. (laughs) It has the good things in it. So you can watch it, uh, despite my rating. I have my problems with it, uh, so check it out if you want to. If you don't want to check it out, not really much that you're missing here, I guess. So with all that being said, I'm going to give The Grudge a 5 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos. As always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of The Grudge and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Psycho 2. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.